Hello friends, this video on common and its compound part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 28. While cooking, if the bottom of the vessel is getting blackened from outside, it means that one of these, which one? Food is not getting properly cooked, no wrong. Food is not burning properly, yes. So if you're getting yellow shooting flame and smoke, that means the fuel is not getting burned completely, right? So in that case, you have to do something, maybe the air hole is less, or something happened. So you have to fix that issue. Explain the nature of covalent bond using the formation of CS3Cl. So we have carbon, we have three hydrogen, we have one chlorine. Chlorine has seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Carbon has four, one, two, three, four. Hydrogen has one each. So I'll form a bond between carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, and one guy with this. So with this, if you see chlorine is assuming that it has eight, hydrogen assuming it has eight, two, hydrogen assuming it has two, this guy also assumes it is two, and my this carbon assumes that this guy has eight. This is how the covalent bond is formed, right? So carbon assumes it has eight because four it has its own, and four it has got one H from three hydrogen and one chlorine. Correct. And chlorine had seven, it wanted one, so it shared one with carbon. So it assumed that it failed that it has eight, and similarly with hydrogen, it failed that it has two. Let's draw the structure of ethanoic acid, S2S, propanone, and F2, all these. So ethanoic acid we know is nothing but CH3COH. So let's draw this C my hydrogen three hydrogens. C O is here, O is here, right? The formula is like this COH O comes here. Now let's draw this. Carbon has four. Carbon has four. Oxygen has six. Hydrogen is one. So this guy forms a bond with this. So this it has got seven. You we'll bond the next guy with uh, bond with carbon. So it has got eight now. This carbon has got four. It has formed one bond with another carbon. Another five. It will form two bonds with oxygen. Seven and one bond with oxygen. Eight. This oxygen had got six. Form one bond with carbon. Seven. One bond it will form with hydrogen. So this is the formula of ethanoic acid. Next is S2S. So I have one sulfur, two hydrogen, right? Sulfur has six. Hydrogen is one inch. This guy will share like this. Sulfur will assume it has got eight. Hydrogen will assume it has got one. Then I have propanone. Propanone is like this. CS3, C double O, CS3, right? This is the propanone thing. With it prop, three carbon. So let's form the structure of this. Three carbon, oxygen, uh, and then hydrogens. One, two, three here. One, two, three here. Hydrogen has one each. Let's draw. Carbon has four each. Right? Sorry, let's draw here only. So let's add CH and this oxygen will form double bond with this guy. So it had six, oxygen had six, it formed double bond with this guy. Oxygen had a form of covalent bond with carbon, it uh, got eight, two from sharing. Similarly, this carbon had four, it got three from hydrogens. 4 plus 3 7 and got 1 from this carbon 8. This guy also got had 4. It got 2 from this oxygen. 6, 1 from this carbon, 1 from this carbon 8. This guy got 3 from this car hydrogens and 1 from this carbon. You got this. Similarly, F2. Fluorine has 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let me draw, draw this form 1. This guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they need to share one atom. So with this share one atom, this guy feels that the guy got eight because of seven it has, one it got from sharing, and this guy had seven, one it got from sharing. 
how can ethanol and ethanoic acid be differentiated based on the physical property so as i told that uh, ethanol is sweet smell because i am talking about the uh, physical property right ethanoic acid has a vinegar kind of smell the strong smell right both are liquid at room temperature but uh, this guy this guy ethanoic acid has a low melting point low melting point 70 degrees celsius so in winter also you'll find that this guy is uh, this guy is a solid in winter right because it has low melting point so it is 10 degrees celsius it becomes solid but this guy will be a liquid in winter so if it is winter you can just tell by looking at the thing if it is uh, liquid it is ethanol if it is a uh, solid kind it is ethanoic acid or by smell you can take that ethanol has sweet smell and ethanoic acid has a, a vinegar kind of smell why does the missile formation take place when soap is added to water will the missile will form when any other solvent is used uh, it is no it won't be formed when you use any other solvent right why because uh, because ethanol is not polar ethanol is not polar as i told the way missile is formed that the soap has this na plus thing and then it has a long carboxylic acid right and the way it works is if it has got dust here this is my dust then all this uh, soap uh, is formed like this it track like this you have sodium ion here and this long chain of carboxylic acid like this right it forms a missile it forms a spherical kind of thing it it it, it traps this dust correct it traps this dust like this i have this like this and then this is how it is formed right this is a lot more actually you got this missile and this is formed when you have a uh, water kind of molecule because this guy is nothing but it needs some polar solvent to work right because as i told the way we we have using soap is because we have this dirt which is oily and which is insoluble in water and then we have water right we have to make them soluble then we are using soap so soap has this part and a plot that is soluble in water and this part carboxylic chain that is solvent in oily acid right so this water is down there it won't work so uh it for explain the formation of scum when hot water is used with soap as i told soap is what soap is nothing but sodium or potassium salt of long chain of carboxylic acid fatty acid right anything my hot water is what hot water has what has calcium manganese now if i use these two if i use these two if i add these this calcium and manganese may replace potassium and calcium it may form calcium and magnesium uh salt of long chain of carboxylic acid so this guy is called scum correct and this guy is insoluble in water and this guy is a white precipitate kind thing which makes things more bad it sticks to the clothes so the, the logic is uh, if this calcium and magnesium ion displaces this sodium and potassium and it forms scum what will you observe is uh, you test soap with uh, litmus soap as i told is basic and basic is red will turn blue and if you have blue litmus paper it will still be blue right so since soap is basic so soap will turn red to blue and if you put blue litmus paper to so a uh, soap it will still be blue what is hydrogenation what is the industrial application hydrogenation is nothing but process of adding hydrogen to something so and you have unsaturated hydrocarbon so you add this uh, 
on nickel brings some nickel uh, catalyst right you add hydrogen hydrogen in this so it becomes saturated this process is called hydrogenation and in industry we have this vegetable uh, oil which is converted to dalda or ghee using hydrogenation correct let's do a recap carbon is a versatile element that uh, forms the basis of all living organism there is a large variety of carbon compounds because of tetravalency and the property of catenation covalent bonds are formed by sharing electrons between two atoms carbon forms covalent bond with itself and with other elements such as oxygen hydrogen sulfur nitrogen chlorine carbon forms compound containing double triple bonds also carbon also forms chain chain may be straight branched or rings the ability of carbon to form chain gives rise to homologous series of compound which has same functional group and similar property right the functional groups we read was alcohol aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid so they 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 have properties based on the functional groups if you see the alcohol behaves very different from aldehydes or carboxylic acids right because it's a functional group that this, that defines the property of the compound carbonate compounds are major source of fuel ethanol and ethanoic acids are carbon compounds which are very important to us and that's why we have studied that separately action of soaps and detergent on the presence of uh, are, are based on the presence of hydrophobic and hydrophobic group that i explained right the sodium thing in the long chain of uh, carboxylic group and which help them to emulsify oily dirt and remove thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again